Minnesota lawmakers moved today to pass tougher penalties for protesters who block public areas. The controversial bill targets demonstrators who block freeways, airports, and transit. Pat Kelsor is at the Capitol. He joins us now. Hi, Pat. Hi, Amelia. Yeah, get tough laws like this are popping up all over the country after a series of really serious police shootings and protests, including here in Minnesota. Hundreds of protesters shut down freeways on multiple occasions after a series of shootings of black men by police. Leave the interstate now or you'll be subject to a use of force. But the strategy of blocking traffic on freeways at airports and light rail lines is sparking pushback at the Capitol. If you block a freeway, you should go to jail. Two Republican sponsored bills are upping the stakes for protesters. An action that's already illegal, making it more illegal. If you believe you have a First Amendment right to block a freeway, you are mistaken. That is against the law. Already. The bills raise the penalty for blocking traffic from a misdemeanor to a gross misdemeanor. That's a more serious crime, punishable by a fine up to $3,000 and a year in jail. My friend Philando Castile was shot. At two emotional state capitol hearings, critics of the Get Tough plan called it an attack on free speech. A friend of Philando Castile, who was killed by police, called the bill racist. So if you want us to stop protesting, sir, stop giving us a reason to protest, please. Because until then, you can charge me with a felony. I will be in these streets protesting. Well, Governor Mark Dayton, a Democrat, said last week that he does support the goals and the protests of groups like Black Lives Matter, but the governor said he does not support the shutting down of public areas like freeways and airports and also light rail transit. But, Amelia, the governor has not said whether he will sign this particular bill, which does appear looking like it is going to pass this legislature. All right, we'll have to wait and see then, Pat. Thank you. You bet.